right, here we go. So tonight I have been thinking about doing something. I don't know if it's unique necessarily, but I've never seen anybody else do it. So what I want to do is an open cup like I've been doing, but I want to do a split cup pour into the open cup. Might be cool. Might just look like a regular open cup. Dinner. I've never tried it and I've never seen anybody else try it. So that's what we're going to do tonight. watered this down, not watered it, I flow trawled this down for like the fourth time before I started. So here's to hoping that it's not as thick as it has been in the last several pours. I'm really not having luck with this. Have a ton of bubbles. That's always fun. Just tilting it around. There's nothing exciting happening. Not really. Come on. Okay. Well, cool. It's being. A little more in the middle. Cool. There you go. Alright. I'm doing uh, red and black and orange tonight. I mixed them. There was the same amount in each of the three cups that I individually mixed them in. And I don't know if you can see any of the shadow, but the yellow only goes up to here and the red and the orange really go to here. I have no idea. Whatever. Add this to the list of two ounce cup or something crazy. It's huge. So I have to hold it all awkwardly. All right, here we go. So the red and orange, I don't know, they're all coming at the same time. That's cool. Now, even though it's clearly not going to matter how this falls, I am still gonna try to take care to have some sort of like order to how it's going. And we're traveling. I wonder. So come around. So you can see the pouring. Okay. 
cups for a second. You can see this, right? This is insane. I love it. And we started falling off that side, come back. I don't really have much to say tonight, I guess. And if you know me, you know that doesn't rarely happen. But I'm just trying to have fun with this experiment. And use the cool split cup that my Uncle Will made me at the same time. Excuse me, oh my goodness. I set you so that you won't fall running back in. upside down on a piece of foil so that at least it catches all that paint <laughs> which is such a weird thing to do but I'm okay with it Same thing with that. <sighs> All right. Um, something I haven't mentioned since the first night. I don't use silicone at all. Nothing against it. Well, plenty against it. Nothing against people who use it, but I don't use it. Um, so when I'm torching things, it's 100% to get rid of bubbles, um, which sometimes makes cool cell stuff, but it's really, really, really just for that. And not to do whatever it is that silicone does when you add heat to it. Mm -hmm. 
So I can be really reckless with this, right? I could just let it dump off the edges, but since I didn't tape it today, I kind of am hesitant. And you know, this is how I roll. I'm always hand painting my edges. I should just hand paint them to begin with, right? That would be smart. fact about this black paint, it doesn't like washing off my hands. I had to scrub for so long to get it all out of my cuticles today and now it will be right back in there. Um, everybody was recommending the Sherwin-Williams color to go, um, tinted to a tricorn black. And the day that I went, it was in the midst of their most recent sale on all of their paints and so they were completely out of the color to go which is fine um the the guy in there the the sales person was the only worker in the store and there were a bunch of people in the store and so i had to wait and i say that because he kept apologizing and me having worked customer service for so long kept saying no oh, really it's fine you're working whatever so anyways, at the end of it, after waiting for maybe 30, 40 minutes for him to just wait on me, he gave me a really good discount on basically like one of their pricey brands of like actual hardcore paint. And what I didn't realize at the time is that the Sherwin-Williams Color to Go is technically not really like wall paint. It's like intended 100% just to give you like a trial to see how you like it, but you should not really paint your walls with it kind of deal. So I almost think the reason that so many people like it for pouring purposes is literally because it's not house paint. I say that all to say that this black paint that I got, while it is probably spectacular for painting walls inside your house, has not been the greatest thing ever for fluid art. And man, is it smelly. But that's all right, because I got it for a really good price. I am not mad at the kid, he was very helpful. But in the future, I don't think I would get it again if I had the choice. All right. So we did all that, obviously, to help with my obsession of having it like that. But also so that when I come over, it flows nicely and doesn't hesitate as much. Mm, flow nicely. Okay. And back this way. Ah. Okay. I'm already, I'm already doing good. I'm wearing it. Right. Get that to the middle of some. Theoretically, going off that edge shouldn't be too bad because there's a lot of paint over there. I'm going to help it, though. I'm just going to 
gonna help you out. I have so much pain on my hands. Oh yeah. All right. Slow. Yeah. Cool. And get it so that you guys can kind of see it a little bit. Kind of this like really perfect circle on the inside here and I'm actually kind of trying to mess that up a little bit I know, I turned it so you guys could see, and then I immediately tipped it in the opposite direction. I'm sorry. I'm kind of playing with composition right now. I don't really know what I want. Mm. I have a toothpick over there somewhere. Where are you? Okay. All right. I don't know if this is from a scorch. Or if it's just a little lumpy lump. Listen, you need to come up. You can't stay there. And you can't drag black around the painting. Stop it. It's not okay. Alright, so I think I saw another one. I really like having way more lights than I need at any given time because glare really helps me see any weird clumpy bumps that I might have screwing up the paint drying. Come on. Just go right down. Right. What else? Was there another one? My orange was really lumpy. I don't really know why. But that sometimes creates a problem when it's drying. Hold on to it. What do you think? 
What do we think, people? I think it's pretty all right. I kind of actually wish that there was more black in it. Never do I say that on a lava pour, but I kind of wish I had it on this thing. And there it is, with all the reflections and everything. It's pretty. I think I'm okay with it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, any questions that you left, I will answer once this is over.